Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a pocket letter that I made for Sarah. She sent me a pocket letter as a surprise, so I wanted to make her one back. She is one of my customers, and it was such a lovely surprise. So this is what I'm making for her back. I will put a link to her Instagram. She is Ready, Set, Sparkle, and I will put a link to the video of me unboxing the one that she made me. But this is the one that I made. I used the... Planner Society kit from like two months ago. I can't remember what month, but it was like the home cooking one. The stickers look like that. Um, I don't remember what the theme was. It's definitely my least favorite one ever, and I wasn't really inspired by it, but I wanted to do a project with it, and I actually really liked the way that it turned out, even though it's not my favorite kit but the colors are beautiful so this is the shaker pocket that I made I included this frame I'm pretty sure the frame is from a kit like months ago so it didn't come in this kit and then I included some of the shaker bits that were in this kit there's just flowers and leaves and stuff I really like that and then because I have a wonky fuse tool technique I put washi tape over it so I will start with the first pocket it looks like this I put some of the black and white polka dot paper this was not from the kit I don't believe I included it though to um, make up because there was only six pages and I needed eight but I put a doily a tag a backwards tag and then just embellished it with some of the die cuts this is from a pocket letter that I got from Annie and then enamel dots and hearts and be happy you deserve it so that is going in here there's like twine fur everywhere I did this pocket I did most of this pocket letter at a pocket letter class that we had so I am including a bunch of the papers from this kit as well as other papers that I thought matched with it which is this one, the polka dot one, and the heart one. Those are from a different set but she can make a pocket letter out of those if she wants. The next card looks like this. I layered some ripped paper back here with some ripped doilies, put a little enjoy puffy sticker, some enamel dots, a puffy heart from Fraggle Fawn, and then a die cut and it says hello you this is where I am putting the letter and the letter is just in a card that has a V I cut it down to size and I wrote my letter so that goes there the next card looks like this this is a paper that wasn't included in the kit it's just the heart paper that I showed you earlier I layered tool some ripped paper with a planner girl die cut and then some ripped doilies with a little sticker of the girl that they always send in the planner society and then some flower stickers back here i am putting stickers some from freckled fawn and some from the kit so these are from freckled fawn she can use them in her planner these are from the kit and then some puffy stickers from the kit as well this one's really cute it says hello sunshine so those will just go back here. On to this one. Looks like this. I put a little chipboard. This is not from the set. I forget what or, where it's from, but I think I got it in a planner attic box. It's like a clipboard chipboard thing. Put some enamel dots and stars. A little slow cooker, which I think is kind of weird for a planner kit, but whatever. Life is good and layered some washi. Pretty simple card. Behind there I am putting some washi samples. These two, the pink and the yellow, are from the kit. And then a skinny red and glittery gold. She can use those in her projects or her planner. This one keeps unraveling. Next card looks like this. I put a little glassine bag and it does have a sticker holding it but it's super easy to get open. It's just a little like mixer. 
a doily, a puffy heart from Brickle Fawn, and then I spelled out dies with some enamel dots. And here I put die cuts and some other little goodies, like the little wooden paper clips that came in this collection. So we have the Hello Today, the little pot, a Today clip, what's that, paper clip, and then, like I said, a bunch of clip art from this collection. And just close it up, stick that in there. Next pocket looks like this. I did this one very simple. I just layered some pink paper and then put this little cutout from the set. It says the secret of getting ahead is getting started by Mark Twain. Put some glitter gold washi, some enamel shapes like a heart and dots and a little puffy uh, flower. And behind here I'm putting the stamps from this kit. I don't know if she stamps, but we have flowers, little pots, or like coffee cups, flowers, little speech bubbles, and more flowers, so hopefully she stamps. The next card looks like this. I just ripped some paper. This paper is also not from the kit. And then I put a little die cut, some washi, a BU, and this star paper clip. She can take it out and use it. And then I'm going to include the little bow paper clips that came with this collection. She can put those in her planner. The last card looks like this. I put some washi down, this little BU foldable tag that I stapled, this acetate tag from Michaels I cut out from a full sheet and back here I layered some doilies. On here I just um, stapled some tool to a you are brilliant and put that onto the tag. And behind there I am putting the rest of the confettis that came with the kit that match these. So that is it for the entire pocket liner. There you go. I am going to go ahead and show you how I am going to wrap it. I already did this part to save some time. I just cut the paper down that I wanted, ripped some doilies, put a little sticker, and then wrote out her name. And I'm going to tape that. But I also wanted to include these sticky notes. I know that she's in Canada. She might not have access to those. And then these unicorn um, stickers from Pop Biz Paper. I'm going to cut it down a little bit. I bought a bunch of these to send out with my snail mail because I love unicorns. So I thought it'd be like, hey, snail mail from Vanessa because she loves unicorns. So I'm going to include those. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around and close it up with some washi. there is that and then last but not least I want to put some tool on it so just cut a little bit and I'm not going to wrap it super big just to add a little bit of something And then to make it super puffy, I just cut it like that. And then lastly, I'm going to include this pen that came with the kit. It has little apples on it. So that is my pocket letter to Sarah. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I will get back to you. If you enjoy pocket letters, please subscribe so you can see some more. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.